This video shows how to set up the TP-Link Archer VR1600V modem router with a non-TPG ISP. To set up the modem, turn the modem on, then connect either the DSL port or the WAN port, depending on the type of connection for an internet source. Once the modem has booted up, log into the modem by opening a web browser on a device connected to the modem, and go to a HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.16. 68.1.1 Default username is admin and default password is admin. Go to advanced, then go to network. If connection type is DSL, go to DSL. If your connection is a WAN type connection, go to eWAN. First I'll demonstrate how to set up a WAN type connection. If your ISP specifies as a view LAN ID, tick the LAN ID and fill in the required ID number. If your ISP does not specify a VLAN ID, untick VLAN ID. If your ISP requires a login and password, select PPPOE as the connection type and fill in the user ID and password that were supplied by your ISP. If your ISP does not use a username or password, select dynamic. Static IP is rarely used and requires filling in all the IP values manually. If your ISP uses IP version 6, tick IP version 6 and select either DHCP or Slack. Save settings and wait a few minutes for your connection to connect. If successful, all the IP version 4 and version 6 addresses should be filled in automatically. You might have to refresh the page for this information to display. If you have a DSL connection, select DSL, select Add, select whether the connection is either a VDSL or ADSL connection, and then fill in the details as shown previously for a WAN connection. The link used for the demonstration is a Telstra NBN FTTN connection, so I will use these settings. If the connection is successful, the internet light on the modem will turn green. The DSL light should already be green. If the DSL light is not green, check that the DSL settings in the modem are as per displayed here.